Hello and welcome to my review of The Maltese Falcon, but before I get into it, I must say a spoiler alert for this movie, so consider yourselves warned. Second thing I want to say is don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this review and want to see more reviews like this in the future. Let's get into it. The Maltese Falcon. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. For the most part, it's good. It has very good pacing to me, and everything in the movie seems to move quickly, and it just tries to get to our story and get through our story in a very quick uh, pace to me, and I enjoyed that for the most part. The premise of this movie is you have Sam Spade, played by Humphrey Bogart, who is a private investigator, and he is approached by Miss Wunderly, played by Mary Astor, to tail a man. Things go wrong, people die, and it is found out that Miss Wonderly is not really Miss Wonderly, and she is wants to get this Maltese Falcon because it is pretty much invaluable, but there are other people who want to ha want to get the Maltese Falcon because it is so invaluable, and Humphrey Bogart's, you know, Sam Spade just tries to get the Falcon, and he pretty much plays everybody in this movie. I mean, he plays them all for suckers, and it works. You can probably compare this movie to a lot of other movies, which have your cast of characters going, you know, kind of on an adventure to find a invaluable object, but I feel like this one is one of the originals where you have, you know... I, I don't know of any of any movies that are before this movie where you have that uh, that quest to find that kind of object and this movie does something where it has it's kind of a film noir but it is also that quest in that you have your private investigator and he's you know find he's trying to find something he was hired to find something and he's always gonna find that thing and but the thing that kind of took it down a little bit to me was that Sam Spade seems to have every answer to every question and he just seems to know almost everything except for what Mary Astor's character like really wants and what she's really thinking because she's literally a liar in the basis sense. Let's talk about some of the other characters in this movie. I already touched on Humphrey Bogart how I think he's kind of playing himself or playing that same character that he seems to always be playing in his movies. Uh, Mary Astor as Ruth Wonderly, I kind of have a little bit of a beef, not with her, but with the way they made the women characters in this movie. To me, her, the secretary played by Lee Patrick, and, and the widow of Sam Spade's partner, they all seem to be the same. They all cried. They all were, they all were super reliant on Humphrey Bogart, uh, his character, and it just seemed like they didn't really develop those characters very well at all. And they kind of, they kind of blended together as far as almost being the same character. Uh, Sidney Greenstreet as. I, I mean, they call him the fat man, so I'm going to call him the fat. His name is Gutman. Gutman, whatever. He was good. Uh, I, wa I remember him from Casablanca, and to me, he's almost playing the same character in both films. I could, like, if this was a shared universe, I could totally believe that he is playing that, that character from Casablanca is this character of Casper Gutman in the Maltese Falcon. This movie made me feel happy during the beginning of the movie. Not because anything, you know, good or happy happens in the movie, it's because I like it when a story gets to the story. I'm not one of those people that like setup. I just I don't I don't feel like if you tell a good story, then we don't, I don't need you to set me up all the things. It's just like, let's hit the ground running. Let's do this thing. And I very much enjoy that. In the middle there, man, I was like, I was, I was not exhausted, but I was tired. I was like, hey, can we, can we slow things down just for a few minutes? Can we just get a, in a get, can we get a scene where no, like, we slow things down? Because it felt just like... It started off good, it started off fast, but it's just like, you know, some movies can't just keep going at that pace and keep keep you involved, and I was just like, man, 
can we can we just slow it down for a few minutes here my verdict on this one is going to be a solid watch to me when i watch this movie today for the second time in my life i enjoyed it i i enjoyed our characters i enjoy the story i feel like this is one of those movies where if you're you if you are into movies and you would and you don't mind watching an old black and white movie watch this movie it's fun it's one of the original quest movies but to me i'm just like when i when i finished watching it i literally i just looked up at the ceiling and i was like i have no inclination to watch this movie ever again in my life there you go that's my review of the maltese falcon but i want to know what you think about this movie so i need you to go into the comment section down below and write out your thoughts on the movie or my review of the movie if you disagree with me good on you if you agree with me hey let's let's talk about this movie i want this to be a discussion on this movie in the comment section down below so definitely do that and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one or talk in star wars or trailer reactions and reviews of current movies so yeah subscribe if you want to get notified every time i put up a new video and thank you for watching this one